Okay, this intro looks lovely and all, but why do the cutscenes from Chain Memories 358 and Recoded all look like pixelated garbage? Just as Sora is starting to grasp the power of the Keyblade, he comes face to face with his friend, Riku. It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. But you just said his name was Riku. You lied to me, Chirithi. My friends are my power. My friends are my power, cliche. A clue leads them to a mysterious citadel called Castle Oblivion. Yeah, what was in that clue anyway? They chased after Pluto, got the Castle Oblivion, and then... nothing? Pluto was gone, and with him, the letter in his mouth. What the hell? It's the Grandom Hearts. So, you know the Lost Masters. Who? They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Never heard of them. Then how do you explain the ending where you're the one who puts their pieces there? You know what? Xanor was right. You need to drop the facade. The gazing eye sees the fate of the world. Why does Xehanort know about the gazing eye? Shouldn't nobody but Lushu know about the Master of Masters plan? We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring you Sonic Generations. What even was the point of playing as Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora if all we do is jump around for like four seconds and then press a button? Wow. Giant Heartless. Not even Darkseid, just giant heartless. See, Square knew how not frightening Darkseid is that they demoted it from first boss to tutorial boss. But first, you must regain all the strength you have lost. Perhaps it is foolish to expect a complete recovery, but it is absolutely vital you perfect one power. The power of waking, which you failed to master during your exam. I know, thank you. There's no need to be so harsh. I know that I failed, just please stop. Aww. How are we supposed to get there now? What the hell do you mean, how are we supposed to get there? You've been there in literally every game, except Dream Drop Distance. Sorry, I got nothing. What did you expect? May your heart be your guiding key. May my heart be my guiding key. <laughs> I got it! Man, I don't know how to get there. Oh, you said a thing. Now I know how to get there. At long last, the time had come. The planets were edging into perfect alignment. Narration. Like, seriously? This came out of nowhere, and we never hear the narrator again. And the whole joke around the narrator was that the muses thought he was too boring, and the muses aren't even in Kingdom Hearts. And the plan Hades devised 18 years ago was about to reach fruition. See, here's what I don't get. The narrator says that Hades planned all this 18 years ago, but then what was all that sh in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2? Was that part of the plan? Did he have backup plans that he just threw into the mix while carrying out this plan? Because he says he devised the plan 18 years ago, meaning he's known the plan for that long, but... Why wait until now when we've kicked your ass so many times? Hades' previous attempts using Terra, Cloud, and Orin. Hope you savored those Final Fantasy references, because aside from the Moogles and the Cactuar and Toy Box, these are the only ones you're really getting. A wave of darkness slants down from their celestial rank. One by one, Hades freed the Titans from their prison. Some of them, the same monstrosities that Sora and his friends had already fought invested before. Exactly, so what's the point if Hercules is stronger than Sora, Donald, and Goofy? Looks like we missed the Colosseum! How did you miss the Colosseum? You've been here at least three times. Well, I think we might be going in circles! How the heck could we have been going in circles? We went up! Hey, Hercules! Where are you? Yeah, I'm sure just yelling is gonna make him appear. Like, have you seen how big this world is? Oh, easy. What is this, Sparta? Kind of on a schedule. Don't have time to toss around the old fire and brimstone. The whole cosmos is basically waiting for me to, you know, conquer it. But you're not even doing anything. The Titans are doing everything. <laughs> hmm? See? Found him. 
How very convenient that you just so happen to land in the exact part of Thebes where Hercules just happened to be at that exact moment in time. Also, yeah, I know this is like a video game, obviously, but you guys must have been flying pretty fast to have landed all the way over here. Wouldn't Hercules' rock hard biceps, like, torn you in half when he caught you? <laughs> Let me down! Hmm? Just a second. If Donald got caught on the statue's tooth, that must mean he hit the statue head on. Donald should be dead. Phil, you should go with Meg. We don't even get a discount Danny DeVito in this game. Like, half of Phil's personality is being a loud mouth. But here, he doesn't even make a sound. Over that way! Mm-hmm. Oh no! There's a little girl caught in the fire! How in the flying hell did you see that? If you're able to see that, you certainly don't need to throw a goddamn statue just to reach her! That was unnecessary! Chill! Also, isn't throwing that statue incredibly dangerous? Like, I get that we seldom had NPCs roaming about, but we do now, and this seems very irresponsible coming from anyone, let alone the hero of Thebes. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> It's fine. I can take it. It's fine. I can take it. I can take it. You can take it. Don't say that. Well then, goddamn Sora. You... Ouch! Sora, you command fire. You just fought fire course. You should know that fire burns. They got insurance. Does insurance even exist where you come from, Goofy? Someone help! Hava, how did you... How did you get up there? <laughs> get it? Achilles heel. Okay. Oh! Hark! Sora! Uh, the door is wide open. You guys don't look hurt. In fact, you're running in the very next scene, so I don't know why you're not- And now the exit's closed and they're heartless, okay? Just put yourselves in more danger then. Get the people out! Through what exit, you idiot? We're caved in! Oh, well, if there was an exit, why didn't they leave while we were fighting? They didn't seem too hurt now! Does having a heart of light come with an extremely good insurance policy? That is the second insurance joke we've had, and it's in the same world? What's with the relation between Olympus and insurance? How does Zigbar even know what that is? What do you think the Meg here? Got you make with a forge, I suppose. Good talk, Goofy. No, <sighs> I'm the one giving orders now, Bolt Boy. Don't get too comfortable, Hades! Huh? <laughs> Did Hercules just get here? He left us behind like an hour ago, and he was riding on Pegasus. How did we get here at the same time? <laughs> Thank you, my boy. Suddenly, Zelda CDI. My boy. Man, the Wind Titan is such an enigma. Like, how can we just smack it with the Keyblade? How can Hercules just grab it with his bare hands? How come the structures float uncontrollably in the air but doesn't really affect us? I'm just saying a shot in the dark ain't gonna get us any closer to- Whoa! What is it? Have you found something? Show it to me at once, fool! Yes, sir, easy. This has got to be that Pandora's box Hades mentioned. Well, you're looking for a black box, and that's clearly purple. Also, how long have you been digging? Because these seem to be the only three holes you've dug, and I find it incredible that out of all places, you just happen to dig exactly where Pandora's box is. Strength to protect what matters. It reminds me of a promise I made. To who? Just someone I once met. Can't tell. Why not? You realize that might have been one of the people you're looking for, right? You don't really know a lot of people with Keyblades. Have you been hanging out with Mickey so much that his blatant stupidity rubbed off on you? While we're reminiscing, Mickey, does any of this look familiar? Uh, sort of. But the realm of darkness has changed since I was here with Aqua. Uh, not really. <gasps> Oh no! Do 
something, you stupid bastard! You just let that happen! Dodge, guard, hit the f***ing thing with your keyblade, something! Apparently, getting eaten by a demon tower comes with a free haircut. But your keyblade... Oh. <laughs> hmm. The Heartless here are stronger than what we expected. I guess we probably should have powered up our Keyblades before we came in here, huh? What? When has any of this happened before? We've never seen a Keyblade break and don't even get me started on powering up Keyblades. Sora could fall into any darkness and swim his way out. You know, you say that, but there's a reason Sora's not a master and you are. Also, you guys are going on about how strong Sora is, but the moment he volunteers to come down here and save Aqua himself, you guys say no, so what's up with that? Whenever you are in need, magic happens. That is your greatest strength, Sora. If you truly believe that, then I don't understand why you don't just send him to get Aqua already. Like, sure, he's not strong enough to tackle this alone, but Mickey, Riku, Sora, Dawn, and Goofy should be more than enough protection if his magic just happens. So Aqua, she's gonna be the key to finding all three. Yes, their teacher, Master Ericus, would have been another possibility. Had Xehanort not mercilessly struck him down. Yes, Xehanort. My Keyblade was damaged, and the Heartless broke Riku's clean in half. So we're gonna need to get replacements before we can continue. You can do that? I mean, I guess it makes sense since Mickey used to have the Star Seeker and now he has a Kingdom Key D, but how do you just make a Keyblade? How does it work? Who makes it? And how does a Keyblade know who its master is? In that case, rendezvous with Kairi and Lee. They are continuing their training under the tutelage of the wizard Merlin. Why is Merlin training them? Is Merlin a Keyblade master too? The best Merlin ever did for us was teach us magic. I have new clothes for you too, Sora. Yeah? A gift from the good <laughs> fairies. I knew you'd come through for me! Thanks! Now I'm kind of with Donald here. Almost everyone else had a design change in every numbered entry except for Donald and Goofy. And I get it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But why are they getting shafted like this? Wouldn't it be in their best interest to have an outfit for them too since they're also facing the darkness? And I can't let you start this one without old Jiminy Cricket by your side. Where have you even been? When did we drop you off? Was the real you just in Disney Castle during Dream Drop Distance? How'd you get here if Mickey was away and Sora, Donald, and Goofy weren't carrying you around? Okay, so I know the Demon Tower cut Riku's hair, but who cut Sora's hair? The fairies? Do new clothes come with a free haircut? Huh? <laughs> Uh, it's coming from you, Sora! Huh? Uh, uh. What's this? Did you not notice this big-ass Nokia of a phone when you were putting your clothes on? What, does the gummy phone not weigh anything? I'm Ienzo. Alias is here, too. What's with having characters in this game if they're not going to speak? At all! Neither Alias nor Dylan has speaking roles for some weird reason. Hell, nobody has more speaking parts than those two and she's not even on screen when it happens! In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the- Whoa, 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 wait. Didn't Sora just get this new outfit? So then, how come the screen on the DTD console displays Sora with his current outfit? Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Well, of course it's Roxas's. How else do you think is nobody came out of you? Plus, don't you remember that you absorbed him at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2? I don't think you can just absorb a body. So does this mean that weird stuff's going down again? Are you kidding, uh. Pence? When have we ever seen a tornado of shadowy blobs before? It's not weird. This is unprecedented. Why doesn't anyone correct Hainer? Like, yes, is. unprecedented isn't a word. And even if it was, wouldn't it mean something that rarely happens? I'm sure the Demon Tide has never happened in Twilight Town. There's like no reason to have this joke other than to show that Hainer's an idiot. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> no one's taking the photo and they're all posing. But 
Why? They're posing so seriously. How did they not realize that no one was holding the gummy phone to take the photo? Heartless! What do you think they're up to? What are the Heartless ever up to? Why are you questioning it all of a sudden? Usually they're just chilling until we start beating the shit out of them. What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. You... You do remember you fought actual Ghost Heartless, right? Huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. This is one hell of a Wi-Fi connection if you can not only be talking to someone from another world, but to be able to control another computer from another world. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin. Actually, I don't think Sora ever canonically met Lexius. Heck, I don't even think he met Zexion either. They were both Riku's antagonists in Chain of Memories. Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. You guys still haven't gone to the beach? How long have I been gone? Three days? Hmm. Ansem and Zemnus used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Mm. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Goofy continues to be the smartest character in all Kingdom Hearts. Seriously, I would not be surprised if his son was in the Master of Masters black box. The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. Why the f would you know that if Remy doesn't speak? Also, by the way, what's up with that? Remy can speak, right? At least to other rats, which by Disney logic means he can talk to any other animal. How come he can't talk to Donald and Goofy? What are these rules? Hey! Guys! Huh? Oh. Painter! Olette! Uh, hey boss, uh, done with the posters. Huh? Hey! Good work, kids! You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? Do you not know who you work for? It's a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's Sound cartoon invented by Ludwig von Drake? It's a bit of an odd reference. I mean, Steamboat Willie was the first cartoon with sound, right? And that was Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks, so why not reference them? Wouldn't it have made more sense to have a Ludwig von Drake reference if the cartoon was in color and he invented it? I mean, after all, he presented Disney's first in-color TV broadcast. Oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. Oh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up real quick. Hold on, wait a second. Who in Twilight Town even has a smartphone? Technology is like very inconsistent in this universe, isn't it? I mean, we have, I don't know, uh, giant pixelated ships that can travel through space, supercomputers that can analyze and convert physical books into data, which we can visualize in real time, resulting in artificial intelligence that can actually feel and communicate with the real world. But then we have kids using 1980s head ass cameras, kids who have probably never even seen a smartphone in their goddamn life, but somehow still no, not only what a QR code is, but also what it does. And they put the kid, who previously didn't even know what a phone was, not only on the QR code, but as the main character of the game is designed for the phone, he didn't even know he had. I just... Where was I going with this? <laughs> you know, these minigames kind of remind me of Cooking Mama, which reminds me of Sora's Mama, which reminds me of that dinner that Sora never ate. All right! Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring you Dragon Ball Z's hyperbolic time chamber. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. Oh, bullshit. That's not an accomplishment. That's lesson goddamn one. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. This scene presents an incredibly good point. In Kingdom Hearts 2, Mickey tells the game that we've once met an apprentice of Ansem's named Xehanort, 
and in this flashback, reminded that Mickey saw his face. And I get it, this might be Mickey quite a few years after Birth by Sleep, but you never, ever forget a name as odd as Xehanort. Granted, Mickey and Tara never really met, so I don't blame them for not recognizing him, especially with the white hair and yellow eyes, but the name at least must have tipped you off, and you could have told Anthem the Wise about it. This caught me so off guard. I thought Square Enix was actually money hungry enough to put an ad for a new game right before the first world. Wait, so the Gigas are marketed towards kids six and over, but Verum Rex, the game they come from, is marketed toward audiences 12 and over? Also, reproduce poses from the cartoon. Does Verum Rex have a cartoon? So far, we're led to believe that Verum Rex is an original game made by Square Enix, unless Square made a game based on a cartoon, or there's a cartoon based on the game. But in that case, why would the Gigs box mention the cartoon and not the game? Because it's geared for younger audiences? Man, why am I arguing marketing tactics in the Kingdom Hearts game? I was watching that! Uh, sorry. But this is no time for television, Rex. Discount Tom Hanks. Are they back? And discount Tim Allen. What in the world? Where are we? Hmm? Oh my gosh, have we been shrunk? So when you arrive in a world, you led your gummy ship, right? Like, that was the case in the ending. Like, that that's what we saw, right? You don't just teleport out of the gummy ship. You actually land there. Sora, Doll, and Goofy must have landed the gummy ship underneath Andy's bed, right? How did Sora not realize they shrunk until now? What what took you so long to realize that? You know what the magic is for? We have to protect the world order. Border? I said order! Gorge! Hmm? I can get over the fact that Goofy's nose is strangely brown for some reason. I can even get over the fact that all three of them are the same kind of toy with the same blocky, poseable nature. Even though, literally, every other time they've adapted to the world, they're all separate things. But what I can't seem to get over is that they all have different outfits in this world. Like, Sora looks mostly the same, but Dal and Goofy, while having the same color scheme, are wildly different. But why? If you wanted to give them a different design, why not just give them new clothes like you did with everyone else? These designs are actually pretty good. What kind of toy is young Xehanort supposed to be? Is he just a normal action figure? I'm assuming that this is the toy Buzz mentioned earlier, but why then does he look different from Sora, Donald, and Goofy? It wouldn't bother me as much if those three were all different kinds of toys, but what are the rules? I mean, he's even shrunk down to the same proportion of size as everyone else. So... Like heartless and nobodies, they fit together. Enough! Why are you doing this? There's a darkness we are missing and must reclaim. The way hearts connect in this world can provide us with a clue. So we made a copy of the world, and then pulled those hearts apart. Disproportionately? Because it's not like you left all the toys intact. Where's Mr. Potato Head, Slinky, Jesse, Bullseye, all of them? If they're in the original world, why did they stay, but Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang are in this world? Why aren't there some humans in this world? If only some toys got brought to the copy world, why didn't some humans get brought along as well? Yeah! If the Heartless know how to do it, there's no reason you can't! Wouldn't this apply to them too? I don't see any reason they can't grab a Gigas of their own and help me out. Is Donald too short? Is Goofy too tall? The Corporal was debriefing him. But something must have gone wrong. All radio contact has been lost. Radio contact? You guys brought radios? How? Don't you guys use those big ass play school baby monitors to contact each other? Okay, so I know that there are treasure chests, save points, moogle shops, and all that, but those can be explained by video game logic. Who the hell left a flashlight in this vent? Why is it on? It's not like you can say that it's there to light our way. It's pointing towards the outside of the vent! Come on, Sora. You've never used a record player? <laughs> you guys think he's from a video game. 
Why would he, as a toy, even know what a record player is in this time frame? Sora! There's some kind of strange noise coming from the orchestra! <laughs> Got it! Woody, you keep the record going. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh man, I wonder which one of the toads is the one malfunctioning. Could it possibly be the one that's not in sync with the rest? Woody! Mission complete! <sighs> Why didn't you tell me a little sooner? Wait, were you not watching what was happening? You could have stopped as soon as they figured out which one sounded off. All right, everyone. Now that we're back together, it's time to return to Andy's room. Now? But can't I at least check the strategy guides? I want to know how to beat Bahamas! Next time. Right now, we need to go home. Not that I condone stealing, but you were already there, Rex already had it in his hand, and explain to me when you're all going to come back here. Where's Buzz? <sighs> he disappeared into a dark corridor. Oh. Sora, how do we get him back? I don't know. My power won't open those. <sighs> Sir, did I hear you say dark corridor? That's right, Sarge. Any ideas? Well, it might be a long shot, but we've sighted a shadowy portal in the Kid Corral. You're full of shit, Sarge, because the Dark Corridor is inside a vent that you can't even reach unless you make something tall enough to reach it. And to even get inside the Kid Corral, you need to open the window that shouldn't even be open because why and how would you guys have gotten it to open? Even with all four army men, how did you climb all the way to this window? There is no way you could have seen the Dark Corridor. Not to mention, you said the window was in Babies and Toddlers, but this area is called Play Place. Isn't this Babies and Toddlers? It looked like this? What? Of course it looked like that. You know what Dark Corridors look like. Donald and Goofy know what Dark Corridors look like. Why would they lie to you? Distance doesn't matter. Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. Mm -hmm. You can't rip that apart. Huh. What? Your friends are your power? See? Even young Xehanort knows it's a cliche. So even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this, our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. Shoot him already! So even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. But didn't you guys kind of already know that with Shion and Replica? Why not just grab however many replicas you need and just place hearts inside of those? Because honestly, you're relying pretty heavily on people that have already failed you before. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. Oh, bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. Yeah. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. You managed to see. Hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No. Yes, because we're trying to call Yenzo. Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. Do you guys talk about anything? Like, you guys had some time while you were in the Realm of Darkness. You had time when you were back on Destiny Islands. You had time while you traveled back to the Mysterious Tower for the Mark of Mastery exam. When exactly were you planning on telling Sora about what happened in Castle Oblivion? <laughs> and they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality, said Nomura, trying to justify lack of character development as a good thing. 
Kyrie. <coughs> who the hell? Who took this picture? We didn't even have the gummy phone yet. In fact, there are a ton of moments where there's no way a photo could have been snapped in the moment. Those lights appear every year on my birthday. Only on my birthday. Discount Mandy Moore. Which is weird, not only because Mandy Moore voiced Aerith in the first game, but because she's reprised a role as Disney's Rapunzel in literally everything the character's in. This is a completely unrelated note, but why would Mother Gothel have the brilliant idea of kidnapping a child and then tell them when their actual birthday is? I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More than a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stop right there! Who are you? Was he so distracted by what she was doing that she not once noticed Sora, Donald, and Goofy? Yeah, yeah! I think Flynn and Maximus are warming up to each other. You didn't even know Maximus existed until this very moment! I have something for you, too. Wait, what? Since when did you have that? In the movie, Mother Gothel finds Rapunzel and gives her the satchel with the crown in it. But here, the last time we see the satchel, Mother Gothel was just finding it under the stairs. Uh, Eugene? Eugene! Who? Again. That whole scene in the movie isn't in the game, so a lot of elements are missing, like Flynn's real name being Eugene Fitzherbert, and other more important ones, like the fact that Rapunzel's hair has healing powers. That's the whole reason she was trapped in that tower. In fact, the movie explains that in the very first scene, but here, you don't really know any of that, and they only drop hints here and there, so the fact that she's a princess and that Gothel's not even her mother is just lost until the very last moments. Rapunzel! Mother? Oh, my precious girl. Mother? Are you all right? Are you hurt? Mother, how did you... I was so worried about you, dear. So I followed you, and I saw them attack you, and... Oh, my. Let's go. Let's go before they come to. Before they come to... They disappeared. In the movie, it makes sense because you knocked out the stabbing tins, but here, the nobody has just disappeared. And shouldn't Rapunzel know that her mother shouldn't be able to take on the nobodies? Or are you going to tell me that Mother Gothel beat not only Marluxia, but two of his nobodies with a stick? Wake up! Hmm. Unresponsive sidekick. Wait a minute. I know how to fix this. Max, give him a wash. That was it. Marluxia's powerful sleep powder is cured by someone licking your face. Donald and Goofy were right next to the ocean. That whole night they couldn't have grabbed some water and poured it on him? Or, I don't know, taken him into town? Also, didn't Flynn get arrested? Didn't he make a whole fuss about it? Did Donald and Goofy not hear that? I will never stop trying to get away from you. But if you let me save him, I will go with you. Well, goddamn, Rapunzel, which is it then? And they said Star Wars wasn't in Kingdom Hearts. Look, there's Emperor Palpatine right there. Oh. Fall into darkness. We can't allow her near our pure light now. She's dead. She literally can't get near Rapunzel even if you wanted her to. You're gonna be great. Huh? We haven't seen the guy controlling the monsters in a while, so that's one less worry. Y'all literally just defeated a Heartless. Y'all don't know that. Another world where we got doodly squat. Have you seen how big this world is? There's no goddamn way you've checked every single nook and cranny of this world. You sure this box thingy's even real? Yes. Yeah, just how do you know that? It is etched. That really means nothing, and it doesn't explain how you know it exists, or even if it does. Hmm? I wonder who those guys are. What? Careful, Sully! If they see the KID... Discount John Goodman and Billy Crystal. Oh, I just got a great idea. And discount Steve Buscemi. 
it's offline! Why would it be online? It's not connected to anything. And even then, you should have been able to tell because the door's light is off. How did you even get back here? The door we sent you through is sawdust! Yeah, and I almost got turned into somebody's wallet. Lucky for me, a real nice guy came along and fixed the door. So here I am. That seems way too simple. Like, Mike says the door is now sawdust, which might be true, but not what we saw in the movie. In any case, Sully also destroyed the door's light, which the door needs in order to function anyway. Whoever fixed the door needed not only to revert sawdust back into a solid door, but also either fix the light or hook up the door to a new frame, and that just seems way too complicated a thing to do. Why not just make it so that Randall found another door and came back that way? That's what Sully and Mike did when they were stuck in the Himalayas. Laughter's just not sustainable. Once Junior torts his last chortle, you've got to start over. I don't quite understand his logic. I mean, the monsters don't scare human adults, only kids. Once a kid stops being scared, you've got to start over. See where I'm going with this? <laughs> yeah, if he was human, you would not be laughing. Uh, who are you? Gotta say, that strange facade had me fooled at first, brother. Wait a sec. Oh yeah, you were at the cathedral. Wait, how do you know that's who he is? When you saw him at the cathedral on Dream Drop Distance, he had his mask off, wasn't wearing the organization coat, and he spoke one line of dialogue along with young Xehanort. How do you remember a voice you heard once, presumably months ago, and related to a character you've never seen in your life? Let me go! Oh my god! Sully's like the strongest character in Kingdom Hearts! The way he just views Benita is he's able to take down the whole organization by himself! I get that Mike and Zully are new to the whole light and dark thing, but putting a door inside of another door, inside of another, and then putting it through the chipper really doesn't mean much when Vanitas can just use a dark corridor to get back here. Where's your keyblade? Don't need it. Uh, that's a good question, and yeah, you do. He said he'll have a cup of tea while he waits for you. A cup of tea? Where? Oh no! He said tea, but he didn't say where! Why wouldn't we assume he's in Radiant Garden? Isn't that where he's technically training Kyrie and Lee? Say, if you were gonna have a cup of tea, wouldn't you wanna have it at the best restaurant that you could find? No, Goofy. If anything, I wanna have it in the comfort of my own goddamn home. Why would I go to a restaurant for a cup of tea? Hell, I'd go to Starbucks before I went to a bistro. We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring you Farm Hero Saga. Here, Poo. A pot full of honey. It's your reward for being such a big help. Eat all you want. Pooh didn't even do anything. We were the ones collecting vegetables and fruit. Wait, the ice. It's going to wall us in. Yeah, so like, move? I don't know what we just saw, but wow. That was Elsa? She went different. No, she didn't. Well, not at least that you could tell. You guys were outside the palace when she transformed her clothes. Yeah, which by the way, is that dress made out of ice or does Elsa also control fabric? And maybe Elsa doesn't have it. I mean, just look how icy her palace is. Made of magic she forced herself to keep hidden until now. What if it's dark magic? Elsa would never rely on the darkness. Dude, you don't even know anything about her. You had like one conversation. We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring you Ice Cap Zone. Huh? Uh, did you see that snowman? Snowman? Yeah, and here's the funny thing. He was walking and talking. Huh? Huh? Everybody knows snowman can walk. Oh, but furniture, animals, toys, skeletons, and puppets can? Seriously, how is that where you draw the line and say a snowman, huh? 
That's weird. Uh, I, 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 can't, I, I, Anna, I, 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 I can't hear you on account of your younger That's self. Sing, hello, hey, can, can we maybe not have this flashback right now? Something. They say have courage, and I'm trying to. I'm right out here for you. Just let me in. You know, normally a character singing in front of another isn't really awkward, but that's because the movies tend to be musicals. Aside from Atlantica in 2, when have we ever had musical numbers in Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I'm right under your nose. Where's my nose? He must be nearby. Wait a second. How could I hear you so clearly if your head was stuck inside that ball of snow? How did your head even get inside the ball of snow? You sure you never slid past my body? Ever? Who cares? Can't we just make a new body with the new snow and coal we've already have from the oddly shaped clump of snow? Your body parts move independently anyway, so what does it matter? That's racist. So, I know we just said that Kingdom Hearts has never had musical numbers, but Arendelle so far has had two, and no matter what you think about Do You Wanna Build a Snowman, we didn't really need that song. This scene, though, is kind of dependent on, for the first time in forever, reprise Anna and Elsa sing because Anna's trying to convince Elsa to come home, while Elsa's trying to convince Anna that she's not safe up here, only for the duet to escalate and cause Elsa some type of psychological torment. Here, though, it just kind of looks like Elsa's losing her shit for no good reason. <laughs> What the? How did Goofy- How did Sora not notice Goofy separated? To be where he is, he didn't just go to the right. He also had to have gone ahead of us. But how did he do that so quickly? Hmm, interesting. This isn't the health bar you have when you're a party member. Do you think everybody else made it? I don't think the snow monster got him. That probably went back to the palace. Makes sense. For us, too. We still need to talk to Elsa. Uh, Sora, the first time you guys were here, Lark's scene blew you away, and not in the cool way like when my girlfriend says we're visiting her parents and she knows I don't want to, and the second time you were attacked by a giant ice monster that crushed the ground underneath you, and not in the cool way like when my girlfriend says that her friend Steve is staying over. Are you noticing a pattern? Are you? Anna was struck in the heart by Elsa's ice magic. If the ice isn't removed, she'll freeze forever. Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. So I took her back to Arendelle and her true love. Hans. But what about you? Hmm? What about me? Uh, I sort of assumed you guys were... No! I just keep her from getting lost. Really? Oh, but you seem so... Perfect together! Oh, come on! You've known them for an hour, at best! We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring you the Cliffhangers minigame from Mario Party 4. What? Where the hell did Marshmallow come from? Didn't we get sucked in by ourselves? Well, as the original princesses of hearts, time for protecting the pure light has ended. They have passed the light to others. But Kyrie hasn't passed on her power. Is she one of the new seven? She must be. Does it really matter? I mean, we don't really encounter the new seven hearts anyway. And we do assemble to the Guardians of Light later. So, having new princesses of heart, while clever, is kind of a moot point. Hey, at least we've tracked down Ventus. Vanitas told us that he's inside Sora's heart. Mickey should have had a PTSD flashback just by hearing the name Vanitas. He didn't even know Vanitas was part of the real organization, but here he is, acting like it's all good. Tell us the reckless one. No, not exactly. He just doesn't think. If only he listened to Master Yen Sid the way he listens to Riku, that would be a good start. Man, with friends like these, who needs Xehanort? My friends and my power are more like my friends the reason I have low self-esteem. Ugh, <sighs> you're in two? What is this, organization rehash? She said it, not me. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Where did Sora even learn this shanty? Like, I'm pretty sure no one sings it in Kingdom Hearts 2. Why are you so happy? Because we get to be pirates again. Yep. 
You always did like this world. Yeah, but what you didn't always do was have a change of outfits in this world. Remember how you used to stick out like a sore thumb? I'm glad that you at least look like the eventual live-action remake versions of yourselves, but why did the magic suddenly change your appearances this time around? Where else? The edge of the world! So is a flat earther. <laughs> And that was Kingdom Hearts 3. I always figure so would die at sea. Discount everyone pretty much except Kevin McNally since he came back for gifts. So, I mean, I guess that's a plus, but uh... Leave you people alone for just a minute look what happens. Yeah, you go on and have a whole movie in between. I don't know what the heck's going on. Every stride I make is a stride for all of us. Oh, really? And what exactly are we striding towards? Hmm? Luxord, do I detect a hint of treachery in your words? No. What? In fact, I don't think half the organization even knows what Xehanort's ultimate plan is. Heck, Larxene just found out that Xehanort plans to use them as vessels. Uh, I don't know how much sense this makes. Something's glowing. So, how does this work? Did we learn how to breathe underwater in Atlantica? I mean, we're not really sea creatures in this world, so how are we speaking, fighting, doing all that without needing air? That seems suspiciously convenient. Goofy would be great at CinemaSins. Now, Sora, I know you've made passage through straits far more dire than this. Just follow your heart's command. <gasps> what the hell? Did Sora do that? Because either Sora is somehow an earthbender and doesn't even need the Keyblade for it, or that was just disgustingly good timing. I want the chest that's aboard the Dutchman. No, Jack! Don't tell him! Hmm? Really? Uh. Not good. Huh? <gasps> oh, Jack! Well, I didn't tell him which, Dashman. You cracked him! Hardly! Jack didn't even have to say where the chest was. He could have just said he wanted the chest and taken Luxor to it. In fact, he didn't even have to say it was a chest. He could have just said, I want something that's on the Flying Dutchman. Okay, so I don't think I get the sequence of events here. Luxord leaves, sends Heartless to deal with the crew, the Heartless knocks Sora, Donald, and Goofy off of Luxord's ship, and onto the Leviathan, leaving only Jack Sparrow on Luxord's ship, but now the Leviathan looks exactly like Luxord's ship, and Jack's on the Leviathan for some reason? How did Jack even get on here so quickly? Look for crabs. They all set her right. Yeah, my doctor told me the same thing. The sea. She smiles upon us, Sora. Well, let's leave it at that, shall we? For now, the real me has a crucial engagement. At Shipwreck Cove, where the pirate brethren will meet Becca and his lot in battle to win back our freedom. Then let us help. No, it's for pirates to resolve. But not you, Sora. You're as free as the wind now, and far you'll go. Oh. Wait, so this f***er was made out of crabs, yet he had us waste our time in Port Royal looking for crabs? Couldn't he just give us a little speech and be like, Sora, this is how you fix the ship. Also, I'm made of like a billion white crabs, so you're in luck? We can all fight, together. The sea belongs to everyone. Uh. Uh. <laughs> hmm? Huh? You did? Sometimes it just goes in one ear and right out the other. Wait, really? Yes, you even agreed with him. Yeah. No one knows what's in the chest we're looking for. If it's a black box, then we are to collect it. Simple as that. You don't know what's in it? Then why do you need it? 
But how will you know you found it? Damn! You know a plan makes absolute no sense when even Sora, of all people, will be great at cinema sense. Then I invoke the right of parley. No, no parley. Look around. We're a little busy. And besides, I've already got all that I want, mate. <sighs> really? That was it? Luxor just gave up. If you're meant to get the box at any cost, you could use your cards or something. You didn't even try. Oh, lame. Hannah was moving in slow motion, but the nobody was moving in real time. Who took this photo? Who had the massive balls or ovaries to get on the bridge where the Heartless were flipping cards and sh just to take this photo for the news? Like, wouldn't something this up close and dangerous be Pulitzer Prize worthy? Not cool. People like spectacle, not truth. Yeah, who needs quality reporting when you can just make stuff up? Are you saying it's fake news? Because I gotta say, the article says you guys couldn't contain the threat, and it's right? I don't get it. I mean, didn't they see how awesome we were? Sure, those things landed a couple of good hits, but we had chem balls and laser hands and fire breathing! Well, it really didn't matter. They beat us. So you admit it. Keyblade Hero 3! Oh, why did you say that? Sora, you know Donald and I don't have Keyblades. True, but if you guys weren't happy with the name, why did you pose when he said that? Why did you guys like look at him all like confused like, what the f are you on about? Like what? The three of us will go take care of the Heartless for you. Right? Donald? Goofy? Don't you mean Sora Donald Goofy? Mm -mm. We have to help. My brother would have. Yeah, and it's because your brother helped that he died. Seriously, we can handle this. <gasps> Heartless! <laughs> Donald! <laughs> Goofy! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> There's no Heartless <laughs> here! Huh? But... Uh, Sora's really freaking out over a Shadow Heartless. One more last fist bump. Uh, Wait, uh, guys, uh, that one's not like the others. It can't be. Microbots? Microbots? Huh? You know what they are? Well, they're different from Heartless. Yeah, they are, because they're bug blocks. You know, the things both of you got trapped by and recoded, which means you know what they are and probably never communicated to Sora. <laughs> the coat means he's with Organization 13, and that means he's not really Riku. Uh... <laughs> The fake ones with Organization 13, our arch nemones. You know, for a character as smart as Goofy, he sure don't can't speak good. Uh, yeah. it's don't can't speak well. And what did he- Those who suffer a loss require support from friends and loved ones. Oh, oh, oh. 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 What was that? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Wait, if this is live, why is it daytime? Wasn't it just nighttime when we came back to the garage? Are we fighting crime at like five in the morning? Also, the next cutscene is during nighttime again, and the one after that is daytime again. Are we traveling through time? How are Pete and Maleficent basically in every world we visit when we're visiting? Like, did they get onto our gummy ship when we're not looking? There are other worlds, you know. <laughs> oh, I intend to. Who's he? Friend of yours? Pete's met Riku, well, Data Riku at least. He even took control of Data Riku, and this dude looks exactly the same. Who's he? Friend of yours? Yes, though I could not tell you from when. But wait, Maleficent never met Rikuplica. In fact, should Darkuplica even know that Maleficent was consumed by darkness at one point? These are the guys that have been protecting us? Good. God. So, did we stop him? Safety mode kicks in if he's put under too much stress. So, he's probably just in stasis. 
We'll have to destroy the chip if we want to be certain. But... Are you sure? Yeah, dude. You don't need to go that far. It's just a chip. He's not gonna die. Maybe we can find another way. You're not destroying Baymax. It's the right thing to do. Hero is right. Why is this portrayed as a sad moment? It's okay. Baymax is here. Baymax is also literally right here. All you did was take out the chip. He's not dead. He's a robot. He doesn't need that chip to live. So we know how Aqua lost her own Keyblade because she sent it back to the Realm of Light with the rest of her Keyblade armor along with Terranort. But how and when did she lose Ericus's Keyblade? If she lost it when she fell to darkness, why was she being stupidly stubborn enough not to use it when Ansem showed up to take Ansem? The Realm of Darkness, it isn't safe for you. Forget it, I'm going. Yeah, you can't make a whole pint without us. Come on, guys, think about it. Even the king and Riku struggled in the realm of darkness. Exactly! What the hell makes you think you can do this by yourself, Mr. My Friends Are My Power? Riku, look! What was the point of showing this cutscene a world ago if you're just going to show it to us again? Why not just show it once, now? I think we'd still get the same sense of urgency at that point. Huh? No way! It's true. The whole thing was his idea. Oh god, you guys ready to hear nothing but pronoun games? Because this is the home stretch. Question, how does doing that affect the sky? <laughs> Aqua, guard, for fuck's sake, you call yourself a master? You jumped in, arms wide open. Kingdom Hearts 3, directed by John Wee. That's not how that works. Incredible. It is you. Huh? You know her? When you and I first met in Radiant Garden, the Unversed tried to attack a little girl. Do you remember? Oh gosh, that little girl was Kyrie. You didn't know Kyrie was the little girl you saved? I guess I'm you really kidding. are an idiot, aren't you? <clears throat> this is all very touching, guys. But where do I fit in? Ven looks just like Roxas. Or is it Roxas looks just like Ven? And now I have to explain all of that to him, which is in itself a crazy long story. And apparently everybody already knows everyone, and this is an insane amount to get memorized. Good old Axel, saying what's on the audience's mind. Not to worry, folks. To help us out, I've given each of you a gummy phone. Where the fuck were you keeping enough gummy phones for everyone here? We're all in this together, Sora. See? That line was due to all the people complaining about there not being a High School Musical world. You cannot find the unfindable. The box does not exist. I knew they was taking us for a ride. Silence, imbecile. I mean the box does not exist now. Was that some kind of riddle? Just where are we supposed to be looking? Light and darkness are fated to clash. A Keyblade War is upon us. We need only wait for that destined moment. No matter the victors, the box will be revealed. That's it? But when's my big moment? You will have it soon enough. Once I possess the box, our real work can begin. Man, good to know that Maleficent and Pete are here for virtually no reason at all. Ah! 
Why the fuck are you freaking out? What? That means they're dead? Riku, Mickey, and Aqua have all been swallowed by heartless clusters and they're fine. Man up, Sora. What do we do? Summon the combined Keyblade or something. That worked really well last time. Why don't you just do it again? All my strength came from them. They gave me all of it. Alone? I'm worthless. Sora, do I need to count down every single time you fought by yourself? Besides, you're not alone. Master Riku, the man who's helped you defeat Xemnas, is right here with you. Checkmate. And so darkness prevails and light expires. You need a new strategy. My move, isn't it? Uh Huh? It's not over. Come on! That's not fair! I know I had you. Yes, you nearly did. But a game's no fun if you know where it's going. Ericus is a fucking cheater. <sighs> the fuck? The edges of sleep and death touch, and one can't help the occasional crossover. Said Namora to Square and Disney. I'm going back! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> How exactly? You can't just wander out like your other visits. What? I told you. The other times you came here by your own choice. How is that possible if he doesn't even know what this place is? I hope that friend of yours finds you soon. Thank you. Me too. Oh, hey! If I see him, I'll tell him that you're here. What's his name? Huh? Our secret. Why not just tell him? Who would have heard you? Um... Could I get a hint how to save the others? Seriously? Are you a Keyblade wielder, or aren't you? Haven't you already learned how to restore someone's heart after it's been lost? Well, excuse the fuck out of me. Keyblade wielders have been gone for years. I had to teach myself, so no. Who would have taught me how to do that? <gasps> so, what was the point of seeing that cutscene again? It was literally the same thing as the last time we saw it. Sarah! Then! This again? Why don't they remember what happened last time? Did we go back in time, or did we just save their hearts? Or did we save the hearts, and then go back in time? In any case, Sora should at least know what happened. Why isn't he warning Ventus and Aqua? He's not here to kill us this time. Sorry, that PTSD still gets it from time to time. You need some help? Suddenly, ephemer. Just send out the big bad. Axel apparently watches Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna make me fight a horde of Shadow Heartless for like the billionth time? Why doesn't the organization try something new? Like, I don't know, that giant shadow Xehanort? This isn't good. Form up, now. They're Shadow Heartless. You could tap them with your Keyblade and they die. Yeah. So, I have to ask, what is the other opponent doing while we get these cutscenes? Are they just waiting in the corner like, it's okay, take your time. Your face! I'm the piece of Ventus that was taken away. 
and you're the piece Ventus needed to be whole again. So, why shouldn't you and I look exactly the same? Because you were taken for Ventus far before Ventus's heart went inside Sora? I mean, it makes sense why Roxas looks like Ventus, it makes less sense why you look like Sora. Terra, look after them. No, Sora. I'm going to. That's what he wants. For us to make a mistake. Put ourselves in danger. That's why you're going alone? Are you kidding? Do you know how popular I am? I got loads of people rooting for me. Sorry, boss. No one axes Axel. Said Axel to Nomura in Chain of Memories. We need him alive. You know that. No, you don't. Shion, that's the whole point of this fight. I don't need hearts. I will scatter them all to the winds. <gasps> Kyrie! Kyrie, do something. Kyrie, do something. Dematerialize your keyblade and summon it again like Riku did in Dream Drop Distance. Merlin trained you, right? Cast some fire on this bitch or something. We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring you Sonic Heroes. Had a couple of plot points that needed huh? ironing out. Oh, ha ha, Axel. Seriously. Roxas and Ventus should be flipping out right now. Okay, so I know how Sora got here, but how did Donald and Goofy get up here? <laughs> I'm still fighting Xehanort after all that? Damn, the last time I fought an old man this strong, the shelter kicked me out due to abuse of the elderly. So that brings the total to what? 10? Sora, not Sora, Kairi Sora, Puppet Sora, not not Sora, Sora, not Sora, Digi Sora, Dream Sora, Chess Sora, and Yo Zora. Not to mention all the Soras from the final world. And don't even get me started on all the Xehanorts, man. We got Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Younger Xehanort, Terranort, Harless Nort, Xehan Nobody, Sora Nort, Ziganbar Nort, Moon Nort, Gambling Nort, Flower Nort, and Ten Nort, Dark Koopla Knort, and Shio Nort, whom herself is Puppet Sora. <sighs> man, I'm tired. Then, I put you through such a harrowing experience. <laughs> and Aqua, I left you with such a heavy burden. Terra, look after them for me. So what, you're not even gonna acknowledge the way you f***ed up Terra? Not even a thank you for keeping your heart inside his? Yeah, he was consumed by darkness, but if not for him turning into the lingering will- Wait a second, what the f*** happened to the lingering will? That's right! Thank you, Donald, Goofy. Again, I think you mean Sora, Donald, Goofy? Oh yeah, Pluto! Remember Pluto? He was Mickey's pet in Dream Drop Distance for like a scene and then... has done literally nothing since 2. You realize you can't see shit through those, right? So, I guess they're Big Hero 7 now? And where's my Stan Lee cameo, damn it? If they make him cameo in Captain Marvel and Beyond, why not here? Uh, didn't you get rid of the snow because people hated it? I guess you figured out how to thaw it, but wasn't half of the conflict of this movie that everything was, well... frozen? Hmm. I guess Ava didn't make it after all. Meaning what? I told her, clear as day, what it is I had to do. And is that why you decided to exclude her? As if. Ava had her own mission, and she carried it out. I've heard enough! Lushu, what was your role? See?! This is the f***ing problem with not communicating what each other's role is! Now one of your friends is f***ed, all because you trusted some faceless f face and his body snatching butt boy! F***! Hmm. Oh, right. What's this? I heard about this new game. Where the f***? Did you get those pieces? They weren't there before. Is this more of your magic bullshit, Ericus?
We go again. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Sora, Donald, Goofy. <laughs> Sora, Donald, Goofy. Oh, my name's Sora. Well, oh, I'm Goofy. Sora, Donald. Goofy, Sora, Donald, Goofy. My name's Sora. <laughs> and I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Sora, Goofy, and Donald. Should that count, though? It counts. But she broke the scheme. It counts. My name is Sora. And I'm Donald Black. Oh, and I'd be Goofy the Green. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Sora! <laughs> Donald Goofy? I'm Sora. And I'm Goofy. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Hey guys, Charai5 here. Thank you guys so much for watching my CinemaSins parody of Everything Wrong with Kingdom Hearts 3. This one's been a long time coming, and I'd like to thank all my collaborators this time around. In no particular order, HMK, Sarah Key, LimitForm72, Volt Edits, PlayStation, Recusin Vessel, Nor Lil Bomber, and Edo Ninja. Hey guys, this is HMK. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Charlie did a really good job with it. Be sure to check out my channel while you're at it, HMK. You can find a link in the description box below or just type in HMK on YouTube. I deal with fun theories, rants, and hype on all things Kingdom Hearts, so I'll see you there. I'm Keyblade Sarah. I uh, might be undergoing a name change soon, but um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. This is very fun. Bye. Yo, guys. I'm Limitform72. I'm a KH YouTube content creator. And basically, I do reviews, discussions. I talk about the problems of the series and how we can improve upon them to make the future games better and things of that nature. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, by all means, check me out in the description or wherever my boy wants to keep me. You know, it's very nice of him to have invited me over here. I do appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. What's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was an absolute blast being part of this video with Chari. I'm so blessed to have been included, and I want to thank Chari so much for having me be part of this. If you guys do not know who I am, you guys can check out the link in the description below, which will lead you to my channel, in which I make tons of content surrounding the Kingdom Hearts series in regards to news, theories, gameplay, speculation, and more. So, thank you once again for having me part of the video, Chari. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out, you guys. Hi, I'm PlayStation, and I make videos on games that I like, and maybe you like, so check it out. I'm Recusant Vessel. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter, twitch.tv slash Recusant Vessel, and Twitter at Recusant Vessel. Thank you so much. What's up, guys? It's me, Norlo Bomber. Thank you for watching Everything Wrong with Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, I really want to thank Chari for uh, allowing me to participate in this big collaboration. It's a, a huge honor. 
we don't know who I am. I also do Cinema Sense parodies, and I also mainly cover Kingdom Hearts on my channel. Mainly, I've been doing theories as of late regarding, you know, Kingdom Hearts and the next Kingdom Hearts game, stuff like that. So, check it out if you have the time. Also, make sure you uh, take a look at Chari Five's other videos, as well as all the other videos that belong to the other channels that were a part of this great video. Thanks again, Chari, for having me. I really appreciated it, and it was truly a great honor. So, this has been Nora Lobomber, and I'm out. Hey guys, this is Edo Ninja, and I just want to give a quick thank you to Chari 5 for inviting me to this video project. I had a lot of fun doing all these recordings and these takes and stuff like that. It was really enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I just want to tell you guys that I also have a YouTube channel and stuff like that at Edo Ninja. You guys could check out for my Kingdom Hearts content smash here and there and stuff like that that I'm planning to bring up more in the future. Uh, I also do Twitch streams and stuff like that of a lot of games and stuff like that. So you can check that out at Edo Ninja Storm HD. And lastly, I also do graphic design here and there and stuff like that. So uh, if you're looking to get some pretty stuff done for your channel or whatever you guys are uh, in need for, a banner, a layout, business cards, any of that sort, you can follow me for more details on that at Edo Ninja HD. And on my pinned tweet, you can see my portfolio link on, uh, it's the third link right there. So if you're interested in that and stuff like that, hopefully uh, you want to uh, take a look at that. And uh, see if you're interested or not. Other than that, thank you guys again. And I really hope you guys like this video. Kingdom Hearts is all about friendship. And it was only right to bring on board some of the people who have made this community so wonderful. And such a delight to follow. And I want to thank them all from the bottom of my heart. Links to all their channels and their socials will be in the description. So if you haven't yet, be sure to check them all out. No less important are my patrons on Patreon and the channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, and consider helping me out a little bit each month. Huge shout out to the people who have supported me patiently through this process. You guys should head on over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have even more free time, why not check out everything wrong with Kingdom Hearts 2? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char I5, signing off. Okay, blooper is gonna be bad this bitch. <laughs> This is gonna be bad. We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to be- Yeah. Really? Drop the facade. We saw what you did in the ending! We caught you! Don't think that you're slick! What the hell? Inst no. <laughs> that sounded weird to me. Alright. Through what exit, you idiot? We- Ugh. Shoot. <laughs> Mickey, I guess we- Oh, hold on. <laughs> I said that really weird. Okay. What do you hell- <laughs> Blooper. The first time we see Sora, I sorry, I did that wrong, but <laughs> also, you guys are going about how strong. Wait, nope. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's talk real quick. Let's talk. Let's all of us have a quick conversation here, real quick. Okay. So I get that you want to include characters uh, from the previous games that have not made an appearance for like many millennia ago, however, you know, you want to interpret how long it's been and stuff like that, though. But the, my point is, is that they have not been around since, like, in the early 2010s or whatever, or maybe earlier than that. So I get that you want to include them for the reminiscent effect, but, you know, that's fine because they have now made their reappearance in Kingdom Hearts 3. That's great. That's really great. But I just have one question. Just one simple question, okay? Yeah. What? is up with having these characters in the game if they're not going to speak at all. Neither Alias nor Dylan have speaking roles for some weird reason. I don't know why, and what was the point of that? Hell, Melanie has more speaking parts than those two, and she's not even on screen when it happens. Why? What, what was the point of that? What were they thinking? Were, were they just thinking like, oh yeah, this is what we can do on Unreal Engine 4 and stuff like that. And just to show off that we can do this, let's include these characters to have more like of a dramatic effect or be like, oh my god, it's him! It's him! Yeah, no, get out of here! We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 3 to bring you prom Farm Hero Sag. Saga. Farm Hero Sega. Through what exit, you idiot, were caved in? Oh, well, if there was an exit, why didn't we leave while we were fighting? They don't... Uh, oh, sh shoot. <laughs> Sorry. Narration. Like, seriously? This came out of nowhere, and we never even hear the narrator again. And the whole joke around the narrator... Ugh, the narrator... Ugh. Also, you guys are going on about how strong... No, that was a pause there. Mm, th okay, this is gonna be... <laughs> this is gonna be quite the adventure, so... I'm sorry for the editing process. Sora, you command fire. You just fought the fire f f f fuck. The fire fucks. All right. Um. <laughs>
You... You do remember you fought actual Ghost Heartless, right? No, seriously, do you guys remember? Because I think the Castle Oblivion effect is still shaking off on you guys. Shit. We interrupt Kingdom Hearts 2 to you Sonic... Sonic Hero. Sonic Hero Saga. <laughs> seriously, I wouldn't be surprised if his son was the master of masters black box. Oh, whoops, was in my bad. Okay, let me redo that. <laughs> I'm still fighting Xehanort after all that? Damn, the last time I fought an old man this strong, the shell tricked me out of- <laughs> I love this one. This caught me so off guard. I thought Square Enix was actually money hungry enough to put an ad for a new game. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, it's not that funny, guys. It's not that deep. Um, also, by the way, what's up with that? Remy can speak, right? At <coughs> there it is. I knew I was going to mess up. Okay. <clears throat> you know you say that, but there's a reason Sora's a master and you're not. Oh, that wasn't the words. I actually like that better, though. Um, Who in Twilight Town even has a smartphone? Technology is very inconsistent in this use of... Uh, the, the use of various... Oh, God. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. If you truly be... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got a little bit too excited with that one. But Verum Rex, the game they come from is marketed to audiences 12 and over? <laughs> Wait, okay, I'm probably going to do that two more times. How the hell did Sora not realize they should that? Why are they getting shafted? I'm shafting these lines, that's for damn sure. Okay. Sora, wrong number. Oh, whoops. Okay, hold on. This scenes presents an incredible- Wait, this scenes? <coughs> <sighs> In any case, Sora should- Okay, hold on. I'm still fighting Xehanort after all that? Damn, the last time I fought an old man this strong, the shelter kicked me out due to abuse of the elderly. <laughs> I can get over the fact that Goofy's nose is extremely proud. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. Uh, was that 10 seconds? <laughs> that was definitely a genuine laugh because I, at the time of this, I had just watched the Vegeta's video scene. Back again, and it was just too funny. I, oh my god. That's what were they thinking? Anyway, moving on. Sora, wrong number. Mickey, no. <laughs> I can get over the fact that Goofy's nose is strangely brown for some reason. I can get. Fuck Goofy and his shit nose. Oh my god. Goofy's got a dingleberry for a nose. Um. Oh man. I wonder which one of the toads is the one malfunctioning. Could it possibly be the one that's not in the sink with the rest? Not in the sink. Not to mention all the swords from the final world. And don't even get me started on all the Xehanorts, man. We got... Z and don't even get me started on the... And don't even get me started on all... Ugh. Why did I said it right the first time. So where is a flat earther? Yeah, a flat earther. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> he said get your punk down, bitch ass face out of my corporation, you bitch <laughs> He said you was a little bitch. Get the f*** out. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just, oh, oh, really <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I promise I'm done. Heck, Larxene just found out that Xehanort's planned. F***, what is up with Xehanort's plans? There's too many f***ing Xehanort's. Randall speaking, played by J.P. Minot. And discount Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Said Nomura, trying to justify lack of character development as a good thing. <coughs> Kyrie, come on. What the f*** kind of cough was that? You know, for a character as smart as Goofy, he sure don't can't speak good. <laughs> what the f*** is the worst? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, that's not a typo. And don't even get me started on all the Xehanorts, man. We got Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Younger Xehanort, Terranort, Heartless Nort, Xehan... Xehan nobody. <laughs> ah! Oh! oh. Startle me like that, Terra. Jesus. What? Well, of course it looked like that. You know what Dark Corridors look like. Donald and Goofy know what Dark Corridor... F***! <laughs> I knew I was gonna mess that up. It's like a... Try saying Dark Corridors three times fast. Tongue twisters. Okay. <clears throat> Aka reminds Mickey of a girl they saved in Ready Garden, and Mickey didn't know it was Kyrie. Yeah, because he's a dumb sh. Hell, this is like watching that novella called Maria La del Barrio when Soraya, that character, the main antagonist, she's always saying, Look at me! Look at me! 
Like, damn, bitch, chill. Nothing's happening. Calm down. What are the Heartless ever up to? Why are you questioning it all of a sudden? Usually they're just chilling until we beat the... the yeah. Shit. <laughs> Yetus Vanitas. Yetus Vanitas. <laughs> Wait a second, how could I hear- wait, 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 You really want me to laugh for 10 seconds? Jesus. Lingering Will appears, scream in fright. Oh shit, it's freaking nighttime. And don't even get me started on all the Xehanorts, man. We got Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Younger Xehanort, Terranort, Heartless Nort, Xehan Nobody, Sora Nort, Ziganbar Nort, Moon Nort, Gambling Nort, Flower Nort, Anten Nort. <laughs> fucking Anten Nort. I forgot about Anten Nort. <laughs> After we trash Luxord's ship before heading to Port Royal. Also, the next cutscene is during... Jack, why do you have to ruin these things? No, go, go back on the bed. Go, go, get. We try that again. Jack, no, go on the bed. Go. Go. Sit. <sighs> <laughs> the Heartless knock Sora, Donald and Goofy off of Lux... Lu <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm PlayStation, and I'm like, <laughs> plugging my channel. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> what was that? See, that line was due to all the people complaining about there was n Oh, wait. <laughs> Pete, old friend of yours? Referring to... <laughs> it's so weird to say it like that. <laughs> wait! Dark Uplica. Dark... Dark rep. Dark uplica. <laughs> I've never said that before. Okay. Here we go again. Oh my god, dude! I can use the meme. <laughs> oh my god, I can use the meme. I wrote this script before the meme was relevant, but now I can use the meme, and it's gonna be dated, and it's gonna be funny for like two seconds. See, that line was due to all the people complaining that there was not- mm. <sighs> Okay, I don't know if these screams are gonna be any good. Do we want to do like a sarcastic one? Like, ah. <laughs> Alright. Ah. <laughs> no, that's a bad scream. That, oh, that sounded so girly, what the hell? And I- oh, stupid dog. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. What's up, you guys? This is Volt that is, and Chari, I want to thank you so much for being part of this video. Yeah, Chari, I want to thank you for being part of your own video. I'm a fucking idiot. What's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits, and why the fuck am I plugging my channel? You're right, PlayStation. F All right. <laughs> All right. What's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits, and thank you for watching my sit. This is not my fucking video. What am I saying? My, my video. Oh, fuck. Um, what's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits, and I like chocolate chips. Just kidding, I don't. I like brownies. Just kidding, I don't. I like mochi ice cream. It's really good. You ever had some? What's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits, and are you DTF? Because I'm just wondering. <laughs> What's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits, and are you DDD? What's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits. Have you seen that Cage 3 DLC? <laughs> What's up, you guys? This is Volt Edits. Gonna get an STD. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't include that. Don't include that. Okay.